Previously on Surviving Sliptopia. It's now the Sugar Hospital. I think it looks more like a hospital now than a prison. But um, I built a little wheat factory over here. Uh, you may remember I did the same thing uh, previously. And over in this area, we've talked about it before. I want to put swine and cow I love meat. this. I think that this is awesome. I just... It's really cool inside of here. What is up the world that is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here? <laughs> and uh, I've built a monstrosity. I don't know if I like this. I don't know. That was weird. I don't know. I don't know if I like this, but I built it. I just started building stuff, and this is what happened. And it all came out of me. And I think it looks less like a McDonald's uh, than the... Uh, the <laughs> the sugarcane factory back at Fortress, but I just don't know if I like it or not. You guys gave me some great comments. I actually tried building something sloped up the side, and it just didn't. It looked weird, and so a couple of different questions. First of all, I want to know uh, if you guys are having a good day. How's everything going? I hope you're hope you're having a good day. I also want to know if you like this. I also want to know if you think that the fence post up the side like that looks. Better or worse than no fence post at all like this. And I also want to know if I should tear this entire thing down and build a grass hill that extends across and covers this. So when you walk up to it, it's as if it's part of the hill. Those are my thoughts and stuff and things. So right now, pause the video. Go down and comment. Tell me what you think. Um, yeah. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Oh, let me go ahead and come down here and show you real quick. I also have uh, I have uh, harvested a significant amount of bread. I sat here and watched Vlogbrothers videos and made bread. And so now there is bread uh, forever. And that's good. That's good that we have bread forever because we don't have to worry about getting bread. Uh, while I was doing that, I was also harvesting other stuff and things. Is this? No. Everything's good. Everything's cool. Uh, so it's Friday, pretty excited, uh, heading to New York this weekend to talk to some friends face-to-face, -face, which will be really cool and is always a good time. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way. But uh, yeah, I'm completely and totally still addicted to harvesting and collecting stuff and things, as you can see. I can't stop doing it. I like it. I really like it. I like having stuff. Um, I have yet to fill a lot of double chests with seeds, though. I ended up throwing a lot of those seeds away because I forgot that I wanted to keep them because I have the memory of a goldfish. But, uh, that does not go there. Also, this organization is incorrect. Better. Okay, so I haven't got a lot of seeds yet, but that's not really that important. Um, what is important is that uh, I kind of want to start working on the meat. Now, I have thought a little bit, you know what, let, let me head up here, because I thought about something else, too, before we start working on the meat. I think that's kind of going to be our next order of business, but before we start talking about that, I did want to talk about the spawner situation. Um, I don't know what to do about the spawner. We have the park to work on, we have the meat to work on, I'm psyched about that, we got the house to build, we got an enchanting table area that I want to get done. The spawner's kind of important... Because I, I don't want to have to go back to... Nom nom nom. I don't want to have to go back to um, Fortress every time I want to get some XP. But that's like a huge project. And I just don't know if I... I guess I really do need to build one. So, if we do the spawner, I don't know if I need it. I, I guess I need it to be inside of here somewhere. So we got to figure out what we're going to do about that. And it's... I, I want to make it not completely and amazingly ugly. Um, so who knows what we'll do. I need my brain to work on it some more. So we got to figure out where the spawner's going to go. I, I don't think I want it to be on top of here. I don't think I want, I don't know. I don't know if I want anything higher than this. We're, at, we're already at 135. I could just go up a little bit more and go to 190. It might be a good idea to build it up top. But kind of the reason why I don't want to build it up top is because I'd like for it to be something that I can just walk by 
and collect from. So like I'd like the basically the spawner to have two settings and one would just be like a resource gathering setting and it would be closer into the center here somewhere. So what what my thoughts were is that I would actually have it here. So I would build a some sort of a building over the top of this road and then in the center of the road I would have a a good Oh good. It's raining. So I'd have a collection area or maybe a collection area over to the side or something whereas when I'm just in here gathering pumpkins and watermelons and sugar cane and wheat I could just walk by and there'd be drops here all the time because I would have it set for like a drop gathering mode of things and stuff that would be amazing and epic also I'm going to oh it's not raining over here that kind of looks neat oh if you follow the raindrops down at the same speed it's like they're not moving Okay. Also, if you can see, there are lines where there is no rain. I wonder what those magical invisible lines are called. Magical invisible lines? Mills? The mill lines of the rain? Should we call them mill lines? I have no idea. Wow, this is getting really rambly. So, maybe if we sleep, it'll stop raining in our nice house that I've built. Uh, sleeping in a wet bed must be awful. Who wants to do that? S just stop raining. Thank you. So, that's kind of what I was thinking, is that there would be this like centrally located area where I just could walk by and... Did I seriously just miss him? What? I'm supposed to be like Master Sniper. Three arrows? I feel bad. I, I apologize. Um, but that's kind of what my thoughts are about it. Like, it's not super important that we have it, but at the same time, I don't want to walk back to Fortress all the time. Like, that's a huge trip. So if we are going to build it, I think ideally up top there would be great, but I also want the drops to be down here. So, I just don't know how that's going to work. And then I thought about having the drops filter down through the water, but there really aren't going to be any mob spawns up there unless I'm up there. So, I don't know. I think up there might work, but maybe we need to build something suspended down here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You guys have commented about it before. Leave another comment. Pause it right now. Go leave a comment. Where is it? Should it go up there? I think everybody's going to say it should go up there. But I actually think it would be cool to do some work underground and just have a, a mob evader come up and drop them uh, up top. So it would almost be like a hidden spawner. Now you've already paused the video, gone and commented, and then I've come back and talked more about it, and now you may have left a comment that you don't want to leave because I've given you an argument to perhaps build it underground, which I can see where that might be confusing. So anyway, I said today we're going to move some meat. Um, you know what? I might not have any wheat over in that area. So we can go over here to the little wheat hut thing that I don't know if I like or not and get some wheat so we can move these bad boys. Oh, and we should probably get some fence. And we should probably build a lots of more fence because we'll need it. So, yeah, I get real excited on the weekends because one of my favorite things to do is to not be at work. Um, if you're young and you don't work yet, uh, soon you'll understand. And I can also tell you that if there is any possible way that you can find a way to do something fun for your work, um, you should do that. You should focus all of your energy on doing fun things for work. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about the weekend here and it gives me a chance to really build, um, except normally it gives me a chance to really build, uh, but this weekend I won't be really building, uh, I'll be traveling. That's good. That make that went well, but yeah, uh, we're still, uh, waiting on 1.3 big surprise. So this will be cow for now. And uh, then we'll have pig as well, but still waiting on 1.3. Everybody knows by now it's not going to be out till August. Um, and the funny thing is, is I kind of almost don't want to start the spawner project here because I want because when 1.3 comes out, ugh, I need fence doors. Is I'll go back here and get them. I could always make more, but then I would just have extra fence doors sitting in the emporium doing nothing. Um, you guys know the plan is when 1.3 comes out that I'm going to go to the end and build an ender girl farm and that's going to be to be fence gates. Yep, how smart am I? I remember where stuff is, which is good uh, because I have an amborium, which is not 
labeled. So uh, Ender Girl Farm is going to be for XP, and really what I want this spawner to be for is for drops. I mean, that's really what it's going to be for, uh, just for the drops. Um, and that's why I'm really heavily leaning towards it must, must, must um, be drop friendly. Like, I... I care less about getting XP from it and more about the ease of it being having the drops. So if I build it up there, I won't be able to get drops from it. I'll have to go up. And that's why I'm pretty positive it's going to have to be underground and down here. It's just good. It's just going to have to be. That's just the way it's going to be. So if you voted, I respect your opinion, but I think that that's just the way it's going to have to be. If you didn't know, I absolutely am counting this out. No, I'm to be perfect squares is um, because everything must be perfectly squares is uh? yeah it looks good right there uh. so it'll be nice to kind of have uh, the beginnings is of what's actually going to end up happening here finished that's not where that goes. So at least we'll be able to get the pigs is and the cows moved around to where they go. That looks like the middle, doesn't it? No, that does. Um, and perhaps start to uh, wrap my mind around how we're going to build um, the sheep rainbow. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, that's good, huh? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. I did it. To quote a masterful, masterful master of uh, of the Minecrafts, I did it. So I think that we should just probably tear this bad boy down. I don't know how we're going to separate pigs and cows. Oh, really? That's how I should do it? Just kill all of them but two? Do you think that's really what we should do? Murder them all? Oh, yeah? All right, everybody. Look away. Okay. So the uh, bloodshed is over. Um, I'm sorry for you guys that, that had to see all of that. I know it was very disturbing, and I apologize. Come on, Bessie. Get out of there. Let the, let the pigs in, because we just want pigs in here. We don't... Don't look out, fat meat. Oh, get in here then. It's a pain in the ass. Come here. There we go. We got that now. How do you get the just the cow? Probably like this. Just the cow. No, no. I did it. Amazing. All right, come on, cow. And now we can, now that we have this, we can get you guys to... Aw, make a little baby meat. What's up, baby meat? Let's make a baby salty meat, too. Start to get the population arising. Hump! Good humping. Look at him, the little baby mate. Alright, so we got that stuff done. Um, now we can actually tear all this stuff down and kind of rebuild this area. But I'm um, interested to see how this is going to be, because a lot of the stuff that I'm doing in this world, unfortunately, is not really copyable. Like, um, you know, building a rainbow-shaped uh, sheep pen is not necessarily going to work in everybody's world. It just happens to work in my world because I have, you know, this curve here, but it... Ooh, pig. You were right. You were right, John Candy. So, uh, not everybody's going to have the, uh... How many did I get? Wow. Three stacks of eggs. There's a lot of chickens there. Hey, what's up, Tango Down? So not everybody's going to have the the same shaped world as I do, and uh, thusly, it's not going to work for everybody. Um, 
But I guess you could try to build a, a straight one or something like that. So I don't know how it's going to work. And that's kind of sometimes I think stinks because people like to try to rebuild things or do tutorials and stuff like that. Um, but I, I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do a tutorial on how this is going to work. Um, I like that we got these guys. What? Oh, get... I was dumb and left the door open. Come on. I know. I know they left you. Well, I don't know what they were thinking. You guys are bad parents. Did you hear that? You just left your kid in here. You're like, we're free escape! Screw the little one! Get in there. You guys are bad. So, yeah, as far as toots and stuff like that, I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe I should try to build it a little bit better so that other people can use it too. Um... Yeah, that might be nice, but any hoozle. Where does all of this go? Hmm, I think leather's down here. Yes, so good. Eggs. Still doing good. Here's fence. Yep. And uh, we'll put it down here. Just because it'll be easier that way. Like so. Now the real question is, where's the meat go? Uh, no. There it is. I was close, guys. You gotta admit, I was pretty close. So I got a lot of meat now. Maybe I should start eating the meat. Yeah, I'll leave it. I like having it there as a backup. Backup meat. Oh, crapo. I need dirts. Uh uh. All right. So I'm gonna go back and fill in some holes and stuff over here. It is getting to be about nighttime, so that kind of means that our time is almost over. We have so much to do. Sometimes I feel I still get that feeling where, like, I don't know what to do, but there's so much to do, and I think that that's a weird feeling to have. There should be a word for that feeling where you know there's tons to do. I think it's called procrastination. But honestly, this feels a little bit different than straight up procrastination. What? Also, the chicken butt noise is funny as hell. Just saying. Um, thirdly, I think that there should be a way that you can muzzle the animals. I don't know why they always have to be so loud. Like, you'd think that if you wanted to encourage people to keep animals, that they would be less noisy. Like, I can understand them being somewhat noisy. But, like, so, like, a sheep makes a noise, say, once every minute. But they just never stop. Like... If you want to be a sane person and play Minecraft, there's just no way that you can keep... How many did I get? Two and a half-ish stacks? Um, there's just no way you could keep, like, dogs and cats and sheep and pigs and cows all around you. It would just be like... And the chickens would be like... All day with a friggin' egg butt noise. And you'd go totally batshit crazy. Sorry, excuse my French. But, uh... All right. So we did a couple of things. You saw the new wheat factory. I'm going to start breeding these guys because it's going to end up that I'm going to start harvesting them more often. Um, and probably using the looting sword just so I can get a lot more meat. Um, so food, uh, we're good. We got lots of food going on now. I also want to get these pens. Um, I don't know. I can't decide if I just want to build pens that encompass this space or underground something or above ground something or I don't know I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do with it um, we actually could also try to do something where the cows uh, and and pigs are flushed um, using a lever uh, or a button of some sort and then are cooked probably might want to try to do something automated am I going left all the time I was um, but probably might want to try to do something kind of automated because that would be fun Really? Yeah, the noise is out of control. And also we have the pink sheep. Who really badly want to get out. Ha! Trick. Nope, no getting out. So, and I'm sorry you guys that are, you know... You guys that are... You know, animal lovers and... and you, that's why I had to cut a little bit of that scene, you know? I didn't want you to get too freaked out by it, so... 
But, yeah, for today, that's going to be it. Don't forget to leave a comment. I always appreciate it if you hit the like button. Um, it helps the channel, and it helps us. Um, yeah, but thank you, Sliptopians, for watching, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Kia!